All right, this is a supplement review for vitamin D, one of the most underrated, most awesome supplements you can take. It's one of the easiest ways to stay healthy, especially with all the sickness stuff that's going on. It's just a tiny little pill that you can take too, and it packs an awesome punch. So I'm gonna go through some of the benefits of vitamin D. First of all, it increases your metabolism. It's a key player in achieving optimal body composition by supporting healthy and advantageous metabolic rate, period. So the goal here with all of fitness with animals to help you get leaner and stronger. And vitamin D is gonna be one of those ways you can do it. Like I said, it's a simple little pill you can take. I take it every morning. And outside of the health benefits of just keeping you healthy, it's gonna help you get leaner. It's an awesome little supplement you can take. Uh, number two benefit is the testosterone. It is a natural testosterone booster. And it does more than just testosterone, it does all of your levels. It goes free testosterone, uh, bioavailability of testosterone, um, serum testosterone levels, all of those rays when you take vitamin D. Yeah, as you can see in the research, like I said, it, it helps with all sorts of testosterone, um, basically gives you an overall test boost. And that has benefits of an increased sense of well-being. Basically, you're less anxious and less depressed. That is awesome if you struggle with depression or anxiety at all. So you're gonna get leaner and you're gonna feel better because your testosterone levels are higher. You're also obviously gonna be stronger and any athletic thing you do, lift weights, run or whatever, it's going to help that. It also, helps with sex drive. Yeah, that's awesome, right? So it's gonna help you have better sex. It's gonna help you have, for guys, it's gonna have you help you, you know what I mean? Um, so that's a super cool way of uh, boosting that. The third thing it does is it's a cognitive enhancer. Uh, it helps speed of thought, you know, that brain fog we all kind of have. It's gonna help that throughout the day if you're getting tired or anything. You know, in the middle of your day when you're feeling kind of slow and sluggish and vitamin D will help with that. Uh, it helps memory, computative and comprehension skills are going to be better, period. Th it does this by increasing the uh, metabolic process in the brain neurons. It protects the brain from oxidative degeneration and that's all the scientific stuff and I'll show you, you see the study here where it shows that stuff. All of this stuff is backed up by research, by the way, and you can see it all. It's been shown that people who have higher body fat percentages actually have lower levels of vitamin D. Crazy, right? But that's a fact. So if you have lower or if you have higher body fat, you should definitely be taking vitamin D. It's going to help you get leaner, it's gonna boost all those testosterone levels, it's gonna be smarter and all that kind of stuff. It's been shown that people that have, you know, if men are over 20% and women are over 30%, which is clinically obese, right? Studies have shown that they're gonna have lower suppressed levels of vitamin D. So you might even wanna take a little bit more vitamin D. All right, and point number four, and this is the big one for right now with all this COVID and all this kind of stuff that's going on. It's key for a healthy, robust immune system. In fact, with all the COVID stuff that's happening right now, medical professionals are suggesting people consume vitamin D, number one, and zinc. I don't know if you've read this on the news or heard it, but vitamin D and zinc. Now I'm gonna make another video about zinc soon, but for now, I want you to really understand how important vitamin D is for the body for all of the reasons I mentioned before. Now in terms of helping you be healthy, what it does is it tampers the damaging inflammatory process of some white blood cells while it also boosts the immune cells. And what that does, it increases the production of microbe fighting proteins. Got to, you can see here, there's a research article about that too. All this stuff is backed up by research. Right? When you have low levels of vitamin D, it's easier. It's been clinically shown to get sicker. It's easier to have autoimmune issues, which basically means you get sick all the time, or if you have an autoimmune issue now, it gets even worse. So a really simple way of fixing that is just taking vitamin D. Now, um, the deficiency in vitamin D is also has been linked to an increased susceptibility of infection. And that, if you have a wound or if you have anything that's open or anything like that, like if you get cut, vitamin D is crucial that you take it. It's really gonna help you heal those wounds and all that kind of stuff as well. So how much should you take? That's, that's the key here. It really depends on how much sunlight you're getting. Uh, if you're outside a lot, personally I'm not, as you can see, I'm not outside a lot. Personally, I take 5,000 IUs a day. They say between you know 600 to 4,000 is the ideal range for an adult. Again, you can see the, the research behind that here. You gotta get at least 600 IUs. And you could get that for your food for sure. But the problem is most people are not eating enough food that's high in vitamin D, and they're also not getting enough sunlight. So between 2,000 to 4,000 IUs is what I would suggest. Again, I'm not a medical professional, but from the research you can see below, um, that's that's the rate of right amount. Yeah, I hope that helps uh, in terms of giving you an idea of how much you should take. Now, if you're lifting weight, that's another reason why you should take a little bit more. Like again, I lift a ton of weight, uh, so I'm definitely gonna make sure that I keep my vitamin D levels 
at 5,000 IUs a day. So it's, it's really it's really up to you what your lifestyle is, what you're eating. You know, there's a lot of different foods that have uh, vitamin D in them. And the best way to actually check your vitamin D levels is get a full blood panel and include the vitamin D on that. That's gonna, when I say full blood panel, it's gonna give you all your stuff, uh, testosterone, thyroid, all those different things. But make sure you get your vitamin D checked as well. That's gonna give you the most uh, information in terms of how much you, sh you have now. So and that'll give you kind of a gauge on if you should be at 2,000 or 4,000 IUs a day as a, an adult over the age of 18. Now, where do you get the supplements? That's another question. Now, uh, I'm gonna have some links below that can take you to uh, the company, the only company that I use for supplements. The company that I use for supplements is Bulk Supplements. And the reason I'm with Bulk Supplements is this is a true story. I was actually in communication with the uh, number two guy at the company and it was really interesting because I had an order for a client. They put in a large order, like a thousand dollar plus order for uh, one supplement, uh, a branch chain amino acids actually. And they were not able to get that supplement in time and it was even later and it ended up being another week and I was checking up and I was like, hey, what's going on? Uh, my client needs, you know, make sure this order goes through. The number two at the company was like, I'm really sorry, but the owner of the company sent back the order because it didn't meet our standards. They check. So when they get their supplements in from their manufacturers, they actually test it themselves. And if the batches that they get, is not good, they send it back. That is a true story. I was like, wow. So I, I told him, I was like, so you're willing to lose money on a customer because of the quality of your supplements. And he's like, without a split seconds, like, of course. So in the supplement business, there's a lot of shady dealers, there's a lot of marketing, a lot of BS out there. And I've been doing this for 20, I'm 45 now. So I've been doing coaching people as a trainer for 25 years now, actually 24 years. And that was the first time I heard that. And that, that, I light bulb in my head and I've been with them ever since. And if you if you look online, all their stuff is in the top like five. It's usually the top three, but sometimes you know it'll be like four or five. So it's 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 amazing. Bulk supplements is the only company that I suggest. So I if you want quality supplements and their bags are actually they have no marketing on the bags, you say bulk supplements, it's not all this fancy foofy stuff because they don't put money into that. Uh, they just have great quality stuff. So yeah, that's who I use. And you can find the links below. Now, if you're when you're training, I suggest highly that you train and lift weights. That's Fitness of Animal is all about lifting and training. Specifically, when you're taking vitamin D, it really helps. There's a study that found that overweight adults who took vitamin D in conjunction with the strength training program increased their explosive power significantly more than a group that did not take vitamin D. So now that's that's power. So they they increase their their speed at which they moved weight. So if you're a power athlete, like if you do sprints, if you do, if you're a rower, uh, if you play any sport like basketball or tennis, where you're having to hit stuff or whatever, that's an amazing thing. So the likelihood of having any depression or not any, but struggling with depression or anxiety, it doesn't cure everything. I'm not saying it's a cure all, but it's definitely gonna help if you suffer with depression, uh, mood disorders, anxiety. There's a ton of research behind this. And again, the reason that this happens is because of vitamin D, protects the brain from oxidative degeneration. There's a lot of chemical process that goes on in your brain and vitamin D is the easiest way to give yourself like a mental boost. So again, that's why I suggest, you know, 2,000 to 4,000 IUs a day, depending on your lifestyle and your food intake. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped and gave you some good information on vitamin D. Um, I'm not a doctor or a medical professional. I'm just a dude that's been doing this and training people for 24 years. So I know personally what vitamin D has done for me. I literally take it every day. And like I said, I only take one brand um, and that's Bulk Supplements. Whatever brand you take is up to you. Um, I just hope you find a really good one. Um, if you do, I, I put the links below, you can find that there. Now I'm also gonna have another video here on the right you can watch and I'm gonna have a playlist down here on the left. And also would love for you to subscribe um, and turn your notifications on too so you can get my newest videos. And leave some comments below and I'll get to them or someone on my team will. And uh, I really hope this video helped you out. That's why I do this stuff. So thanks for watching. Peace out.